In our morning rounds, the fight to stop patients from getting sick in hospitals from drug resistant bacteria. According to the CDC, even many of the nation's leading medical institutions are losing the battle against these superbugs. Now, the most common hospital bacteria known as C. difficile or C. diff is considered a hazard level urgent. It costs the healthcare industry about $5 billion a year. But one hospital in Vancouver, Canada came up with a canine approach to the crisis. John Blackstone shows us why humans are turning to animal instinct. Angus, over here. Go in there. Their sense of smell is above and beyond anything we can even comprehend. Go in there. With that remarkable sense of smell, Angus the Springer Spaniel is on a mission to track down the most common kind of hospital superbug. It's known as C. difficile, and infection rates are on the rise. C. difficile is a bacteria. It forms spores, so it can persist in our environment for long periods of time. C. diff is caused by antibiotic use or contact with contaminated surfaces. It's highly contagious and sometimes deadly, causing half a million infections in the U.S. each year and killing 15,000 people. We can't see it with the naked eye, but Angus can smell it. It will always be present in your hospital, so what you're trying to do is control it. That's where Angus comes into play. Angus. Ready to work? Come He's on. trained to detect C. difficile in the environment. Alert! The advantage Whoa, for us oh, is if he alerts on something, then what we can do is additional targeted cleaning, and we're going to couple it with our ultraviolet disinfection machines. Three years ago, Teresa Zerberg was training bomb and drug dogs when she contracted C. diff and nearly died. So her husband, a nurse at Vancouver General Hospital, suggested she try to train a dog to detect the superbug. Yes, good boy. And I said, if it's got an odor, I can train a dog to find it. Oh, good job, buddy. Super. So she did, and the hospital initiated a first-of-its-kind pilot program. Alert. Good man. They definitely thought it was out-of-the-box thinking. <laughs> it helped that Angus was kind of cute. Oh, oh, he's very lovable. I brought him home at 10 weeks. Even on the way home, I had started training him just by throwing kibble out in the grass and giving him a search command. So he started associating using his nose with getting rewards. We then paired the odor with it. So he learned to associate the C. diff odor with his toy. In this room, we're going to hide a positive. He correctly identified all the, the C. diff positive odors that we had. His success rate was between 95 and 100 percent. Alert! Good boy! Yeah! Angus passed all his exams and will soon be working full-time at Vancouver General. In the medical field, we could go to so many other things that we haven't probably even thought of yet. There's an analogy that we can perhaps smell the teaspoon of sugar in our coffee or tea, and he can smell a teaspoon in an Olympic-sized swimming pool. That's how exquisitely sensitive they are. All your nose. Angus is believed to be the only dog of his kind, but not for long. His brother Dodger will be next. And Zerberg says she's been getting inquiries from hospitals around the world. We're happy to help anybody try and get their own C. diff dog. What we can use them for, it's only limited by our imagination. For CBS This Morning, John Blackstone. Aww. Angus is awesome. Isn't Angus it? is awesome, really That's awesome. Great name. Good name, great too. Yes, I wanted to name my son Angus, but it was rejected in the family. <laughs> He's Nick instead. Yeah, and it's National Dog Day. It is. Nash what a perfect story. And